planning to bring you a lot of different places. Right. And once people figure out that it's 32 always coming, then their game plan will be, okay, make sure you find out where 32 is. I should be telling the quarterback. Andy and I go back to 1987 when he was a coach at the University of Texas, El Paso. A friend of mine was coaching with Andy, so I'd go down and visit. And when coaches get together, as we all do, uh, a lot, talked a lot of football, uh, and I got to know him that way. Play cool in the head and hot in the heart. Fortunately for me, when Andy went to Philadelphia in 1999, gave me a call, wanted me a part of the staff. He coached both my linebackers and the secondary and was very close with Jim Johnson. And Jim was getting older, so I kind of kept trumping Spags going somewhere else to, uh, to keep him right there in case, you know, Jim was going to retire. In 2006, the Vikings named Eagles assistant Brad Childress head coach. He wanted Steve Spagnuolo as his defensive coordinator, but Andy Reid blocked the move. And I was upset. I was mad. Right before I walked out of that meeting, he said, don't worry, Steve, this will all work out. You'll be, and, and a year later, uh, I leave and go to New York and we win a Super Bowl. So he was right. Spagnolo was the Giants' defensive coordinator for the Super Bowl 42 upset of the unbeaten Patriots. After winning just 10 games in three years as the Rams head coach, he bounced around before taking a year off to recharge his batteries in 2018. Last offseason, he finally got his chance to run Reed's defense. I got a text from Mandy that just said, are you still a free agent with an emoji smile on it? Spagnuolo's defense faced an early test against the powerhouse Ravens, led by the man who would be MVP, Lamar Jackson. It was a great atmosphere. It was one of those games. Good coaches, good players going against each other. And at that moment, it's the biggest game ever. And uh, you just, you love that part. Mark Ingram ran for three touchdowns and Jackson added a fourth, but the Chiefs held them to 0 for three on two point conversions. The two point plays were huge. The two point play on defense is one of the tougher ones because you're thinking about what just happened, I know I am, and yet you gotta line up and try to keep these guys out of the end zone, they only got two yards to go. It gave us a little bit of momentum. You gotta get these guys together because the mindset needs to be right. Yes, and I know we started off slow, but it ain't necessarily how you start, it's how you finish. We caught them in a few coverages where they were thinking one thing. The Ravens secondary running left, running right, and as everybody's eyes, including mine, what with McCall Hartman, Mahomes throws back to his running back who finds a seam inside the numbers. That's a great call! That's a great call! The Chiefs' offense was expected to be great. Spag's defense was working to get there.